My millionaire father forced me to marry a hobo. He chose the dirtiest man by the church and told me to love and cherish him. If you refuse, I'll leave you out of the will. Money meant everything to me. So I agreed <gasps> and asked how long the marriage had to last. My father's response shocked me. Until I die. <gasps> then I hope it happens soon. After the wedding, I decided to get private with the hobo. Did my father pay you? What does this mean? But he just shrugged his shoulders. I liked you and agreed. He <gasps> then offered to show me where we would live. My credit card was blocked, so I had to go with him. I was surprised when Mike took me to an old trailer. <gasps> As it turned out, he wasn't homeless after all. There's a shower here. Why are you so dirty? Mike explained that he worked hard as a sanitation worker and he didn't always have time to take a shower. It was disgusting, but I decided to take advantage of it and ordered Mike to start making more money immediately so he could rent me a good hotel room. He agreed. worked hard all day and in the evening he handed me a pittance 50 dollars you're a loser and no better than an ordinary hobo my words hurt mike your soul is dirtier than my clothes. He took the money back and never spoke to me again. I had to take matters into my own hands. So, I decided to go to my friends. to borrow a few hundred bucks Ew. for a millionaire's kid that was nothing however they just laughed when I told them my story <gasps> ashamed I wandered the streets my dress got dirty my stomach was growling from hunger. I didn't recognize myself when I saw my reflection. Suddenly, I had a brilliant idea. I ripped my dress, got even dirtier, and went to my family estate. My father was supposed to take pity on me, cancel the deal, and give me my unlimited credit card back. I was ready to use my sad puppy eyes on him. But then I saw a for sale sign up front. Plus, the door had been sealed by the bank due to unpaid debts. There was no will. My bankrupt father abandoned me. <gasps> I was grief-stricken and didn't know where to go. So, my feet led me back to Mike. Now 
nobody needs me without my father's millions. I'm the loser, not you. I was sure Mike would chase me away like everyone else. But he handed me a hot sandwich. You can fix that by earning money yourself. As it turned out, Mike was an orphan and grew up on the street. He had been working in sanitation ever since he was a child and was able to make enough money to buy that trailer. Any job is worthy of respect. It's more shameful to live at the expense of others. Mike's story inspired me so much that I asked him to help me find a job. He found me a job as a dishwasher at a restaurant. I was disgusted by the dirty plates. Hmm. And my fingers, so used to manicure, got swollen from the water and foam. Yet I endured it because I didn't want to be poor anymore. Eventually, I got my first salary. It was only $50. But Mike congratulated me. What are you going to spend your money on? A manicure? A new dress? <gasps> I... I'd like to give it to my father to thank him. I finally realized that, thanks to my dad's hard work, I had everything. But I was never grateful for it. Then Mike surprised me. I know where he is. Now, you're ready to meet him. I thought he was hiding somewhere from the creditors. But we went to a clinic. <gasps> My terminally ill father was there. Then I remembered my words at the church. And I fell on my knees, apologizing to him. I will work day and night to save you. But my father refused my help. No need to. Your husband will pay for everything. <gasps> Suddenly, Mike came in and I was barely able to recognize him. He was the owner of the clinic and a friend of my father's. In the end, Dad spent all of his money on treatments, but nothing helped. Then he asked Mike to pretend to be homeless in order to teach me how to live without money. Honey, I was a millionaire, but I didn't have the most valuable thing in the world, real love and support. I was grateful, because that lesson opened my eyes to life. Still, I didn't understand why Mike agreed to do it. I didn't lie, you know. I really like you. The story about growing up on the street was also true. And the trailer was his first home. 
Mike was a sanitation worker for several years and used the money he earned to pay for medical school. Mike wanted a wife who'd love him for who he was, not his money. Unfortunately, it was impossible to cure my father. However, during his last days, I gave him what he dreamed of his whole life, but couldn't buy with all the money in the world. You can be rich with money, but to be wealthy, you need all the things that money can't buy.